Okay, so in this makeup video, I'm actually going to talk about how to apply false lashes on yourself. So before you start, I want to show you everything that I have with me in terms of supplies. Um, first, I have a pair of false lashes. These happen to be one of my favorite pairs to wear. They are called Ardell Wispies. And what I like about them is that they are very long and full, but once you put them on, they're actually very natural looking. So don't judge the lashes based on the package because oftentimes they look really dramatic, but once you put them on, they actually come out much more natural. Uh, the second thing I want to show you that I have with you is my lash glue. Um, this is a brand called Duo, and um, there are some other lash glues that you can purchase. Duo is definitely the most popular and what most professionals use. Um, the thing to look out for is that it does come in both a clear uh, glue, which it comes on white when you put it on, and then it dries clear. Um, and then they also make a black glue, so it goes on black, dries black, so it kind of looks like eyeliner. Um, I personally always use the one with the blue writing that says clear white uh, because I personally think it's easier to use, especially if you don't do lashes all the time. Um, the black can kind of get messy when it dries, if you blink, if it transfers, and then it ends up being more work. So I always recommend doing the clear, and I'll explain why later. Um, next, I also have a black eyeliner pencil. Um, as you can see, my makeup is actually completely on at this point. I have my foundation, I have all my eye makeup on, my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, mascara. Uh, but I'll show you why you're going to need a little bit of black eyeliner. Um, besides black eye pencil, you can also use a liquid liner for the step um, regarding the eyeliner or a gel liner. Um, it doesn't even have to be black. If you want to use colored liner, you can if that's what you're used to wearing. But I do recommend using black. The last thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. Um, this is needed for trimming the lashes to make sure that they fit your eye completely. And uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, you don't see it, but I have it, is I have a mirror with me. So the mirror is going to be really helpful for application. So the first step is once you buy your pair of lashes, it's really important to make sure that they actually fit your eye properly. Um, sometimes when you put it on to test, you'll see that you're not going to need to trim anything. Uh, oftentimes I find that just like a little bit needs to be trimmed on the end. So I'm not talking about the actual length. I'm just talking about the actual end so that it fits your eye and there's no overlap coming off on the sides. So with these pairs of lashes, um, I usually do end up trimming a piece, but I'll show you how I measure it. So I just pulled one out of the packaging and then I look into the mirror and I place it right on top, right onto the lash line. So right now it's not glued on, but it's pretty snug. If you look closely, you can see that just a little bit is hanging out. Um, some people like to leave it extra, especially if you decide to do a winged liner. Then sometimes it's kind of nice to have like a little bit of extra lash on the end. Um, I personally like to trim it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim on the end a couple pieces. So you could see that I trimmed this much, not a lot, but that's common. And just to be safe, I'm going to test to make sure that this looks about right. So we're going to place it back on the eye. Press it down. And we could see that this length I think is perfect. So right now they're not glued on, so again, I'm just testing to make sure they fit my eye. So because I did one, and I know exactly what I trimmed, I don't actually need to measure the other one um, because I already know how many pieces I trimmed. So I'm going to go ahead and match the other side. So if you could see up close, I just trimmed two little pieces on the end to fit my eye. Everybody's different. You might, like I said, find that once you put it on, it actually fits ready, or you might find you have to cut even more pieces off. Um, for this specific pair, I find that just cutting that little bit is, makes it perfect. So the next step is, which I should have done a little sooner, is with the glue, is it's really important for the glue to sit for a couple minutes, um, just so it's tacky. So I'm just, it doesn't matter where you place it, I'm just actually putting it in the container. So I squeeze just a little bit, you could see, just a little dab there. You're really not even going to need to use that much. 
but it's important to let the glue sit for a few minutes. Um, a lot of people know about this. Uh, the reason being is it gets a little tacky, and if it gets a little tacky, once you start applying it on, it actually stays on like immediately, versus if you try to do it right out of the tube, it's a little more wet, so when you put it on, it ends up moving a little bit, and it could be a little tricky to apply. So I always recommend, if you can, put the glue um, sitting just for a few minutes, if you can. So next step, um, so we already have our lashes trimmed. So next, what I'm going to do, um, and this is something that I notice not everyone does, but I think that it's an extra step worth doing, is I'll take my black eyeliner pencil, again, or if you have a gel liner or liquid liner, you can use that. Um, I do prefer pencil for this step though. I'm actually gonna color the band of the lash. So if you look at the lash, um, it actually looks like you're not gonna need to do anything. It's already clear. But I like to color it black because then it looks like black eyeliner. So when you apply it, um, then it's not as noticeable. Because sometimes I find that when you put false lashes, you can see that evidence of that clear band. So to eliminate that altogether, I'm just gonna color a little bit of black onto the band. So we did that with one lash. So I'm going to do that with the other one. Now if you chose not to do this and you have black eyeliner on like I do, I mean that's fine, um, but then afterwards I would recommend maybe going over your eyeliner again. Sometimes I do that myself, but I find that if you do this first, you don't necessarily have to go over it again if you don't want to. Okay, so we're going to put the eyeliner pencil away. So what I also like to do, um, so when I pick lashes in terms of like what to wear, I like to pick one that has a band, by band I mean the strip on the bottom, that's very flexible. So when I move it, you could see it moves very easily. Um, sometimes when you buy lashes, the band is very stiff. I find that if it like doesn't bend so easily, then it's a little bit more uncomfortable to wear. So that's just something I mentioned um, in terms of finding the right pair of eyelashes because if you don't usually wear them, they can feel a little uncomfortable. Um, I personally am used to it, so it doesn't even phase me that I'm wearing them. Um, but like I said, it's partially because I find a really good pair that fits and like it's effortless. And like I said, that's due to the fact that it's very flexible. So I do recommend um, before applying, you could flex it a little bit more, just so that it's a little bit easier for it to fit onto the eye. So now we're pretty much all prepared in terms of the lashes. We have the lashes cut and measured. We have the black eyeliner on the bottom. We have the glue. It's been sitting for at least a minute now. And um, before I apply, I just want to mention a few quick tips. So I think this is the hardest part of the job, which is actually getting them on your eyelashes or on your eyelids um, and getting it so that it goes on symmetrically and it stays. Um, and I find that, you know, if you've never done it, it can be a little intimidating. So I'll tell you, when I first started applying false lashes on myself, when I first got into makeup, I was one of those people that I couldn't really get it either. I found it very easy to apply on other people, but on myself, I was having some difficulty. Um, I found that like when I tried to apply it, you know, once the glue was on the band, I would try to literally like, like look into the mirror and like throw it in like across. And then I'd wonder like, why is it not staying or why am I having difficulties? So one time um, when I was, you know, working for Mac, I actually had a Mac trainer tell me or to teach us um, the trick to getting lashes on is actually like holding it from the center and then when you look in the mirror, you're just going to literally like look down a little bit, but enough so you can see the mirror and drop it down. And then, then you're going to push the edges down so that it stays. And I don't know, once I heard that and she wasn't even demoing it, she was just telling us that, it just clicked. And I just realized, you know what? That's the secret to applying false lashes. And ever since I heard that, I was able to apply false lashes on myself with no difficulty. And to me now it can take me like, a minute. It's just as quick as applying mascara. I tell people that all the time. So the trick is, like I said, once it's all prepared, once the glue's on there, you're literally going to hold it in the center, drop it down, and then you're going to push the sides, which I'm going to show you momentarily. Um, so I wanted to also mention, because um, a lot of questions um, come up in terms of mascara. Do we put it on, on before? Do you put it on after? So right now, I actually have my mascara on. 
Uh, when I do my lashes on myself, I always like to have my eye makeup completely done, including mascara, um, because once I put the lashes on, that's it. I don't put mascara over it. Uh, reason being that I like to actually rewear them. So with false eyelashes, you actually have to pull them off at the end of the day and then like remove any excess glue that's on the bottom. But then you could actually rewear the lashes a few more times. I recommend you could even wear them up to five times, sometimes more, sometimes less. You'll kind of figure out as you wear them, um, you know, how much wearage you have left out of a pair. So um, if you plan on rewearing them again, I definitely recommend putting your mascara on first, not after. Um, in the other situations when I'm actually applying false lashes on my clients, um, then what I'll do is I actually won't put the mascara on. I'll put the false lashes on first and then apply a coat of mascara on for the reason being that I like to join the natural lashes with the false lashes. So this way it said you'll have the two lashes kind of like connected together so that you don't have like two lashes separated. Um, I personally don't have an issue like, you know, putting it on and having that like double eyelash effect. Um, because it blends in pretty naturally once I have mascara on and my lashes do have a curl to it. They don't go straight. Um, I find that if your lashes grow straight, you're going to need to probably use an eyelash curler to curl them up a little bit. And sometimes mascara isn't enough to join them together. So that's something to keep in mind too. So now I'm actually going to apply the lashes. So I'm going to show you the trick that I was telling you in terms of how I get them on. Um, so the first step is take one of your lashes. I'm starting with my right. And you could use anything um, to apply the glue to the bottom. Like right now, I'm actually gonna just use the bottom of my eyeliner pencil. I mean, you, I oftentimes use that, or I'll use the bottom of a really thin like eyeshadow brush, like the end of it, and apply the glue that way. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the glue, dip it on the bottom of my black eyeliner pencil that I was using before, and you're gonna like roll the glue onto the lash band. And the good thing is it's white, so you can see how much you're applying. You don't need a lot, just a thin layer. If you're going to put extra anywhere, just put a little extra on the ends, because that's the only area that you might have to worry about it lifting a little bit. So you could see white bottom, not too much glue, just enough to apply. So you can't see it, but I can. I have a mirror right in front of me. So I'm going to get really close. I'm going to hold pretty much like from the center like I was center top. I'm going to look down a little bit. We're going to drop it so it's dropped already at the center. And then I'm going to shift it a little bit to the inner. And then I'm just pressing down the corners in the center. And then I now that I know that it's glued, the glue was perfectly ready to be applied. It, tacky enough so that once I put it on it's not moving at all and even though it was white it is going to dry clear and then I just push it up a little so it blends with my natural lash so you can see I definitely have one eyelash on you could see a big difference wearing false eyelashes so I always tell people I do not go to places I'm going to be photographed without them just because of how much of a difference it makes in pictures I always tell my clients too if you've never tried them before I always recommend trying it just to see because honestly again for pictures it always looks better um, if a person naturally has really long lashes like if my lashes naturally looked like this maybe it wouldn't think it's like a necessity but most people I find that even just like a little bit of lash added to their natural lashes makes all the difference so this one's pretty much all set so we're gonna do the same thing with the other one So I took some of the glue on the end of my black eyeliner pencil and we're going to again roll the glue gently onto the band. And Again, put a little extra on the ends because like I said, I don't want the ends to lift at all. You want the ends to be extra secure. Move my bangs a little bit so this is a little trickier because I have the bangs but we're just going to move them aside. I'm looking really up close to mirror. Hold from the center, look down a little bit. I already dropped it kind of towards the center and now I just have to press. 
Now, in terms of the placement, I didn't mention this, but it's important to know. Um, I like to put it, put the lashes so that there's like maybe a quarter of space in the inside that it doesn't go all the way in because it gets to be very un uncomfortable to wear. So right now I am just pressing them again, but as I was saying, um, don't store them all the way in the inside. You just leave a little bit of space and then you can apply it and then it's perfect. So now they're both applied perfectly and you could kind of see what they look like. Nice and long and full. Um, so an extra step that I do recommend is, so now they're on and um, they pretty much dried clear already. But what I like to do with the eyeliner pencil is um, you could definitely go over the whole thing, uh, which I do recommend, except that with the whole liner that I used, I used a liquid liner, so I would recommend a liquid liner on the top. You can go over it with pencil if needed. Um, what I like to do is that little gap that I told you, even though I placed eyeliner already and lined the whole top of my lid, I like to go back with an eyeliner pencil and just kind of color the inside that little gap where there is no lash. Because oftentimes I notice when people apply false lashes, they kind of ignore that inner part, not realizing that like when you leave that little part, it looks a little strange to have like your lashes start, but then it just stops and doesn't go all the way in the inside. So I always recommend adding a little bit of black in there. So I did it on this side now. And that's pretty much everything. I think that, um, that pretty much is a run through of how I apply false lashes on myself. Um, so like I said, it takes some practice, but here are some of my tips and tricks. And in terms of buying lashes, um, I recommend just trying a bunch of different ones. I would start with something a little bit more natural. Um, the Demi Wisps are very popular. I mean, these are called Wispies. Um, they're kind of similar to a Demi Wisp in terms of them being like volumizing, but they have some length. But at the end of the day, they look really natural. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.